Dropping gems from Keisha Christian. She's on a mission, sharing information, knowledge for soul, body and mind. Dropping gems, KeishaGems.com. KeishaGems.com. Welcome to Dropping Gems. I'm your host and holistic health and wellness educator, Keisha Christian. Today on Dropping Gems, I will be leading you through a gratitude meditation. We will also be learning how to make nut cheese during the Dropping Gems in the kitchen segment. And Finally, we'll have our guest on today. His name is Brandon Thornton. He's 13-year-old videographer for his own company called Best Productions. Also, stay tuned for our Roku giveaway. So grab a healthy snack or beverage because we will be right back. You are watching Dropping Gems. <laughs> Dennis Richards, your pure romance consultant, inspires women to enhance their intimate lives and take care of their sexual health. Book your party today. Visit pureromance.com slash Venice Richards or call 631-943-1868 for more information or to place an order. Welcome back to Dropping Gems. I'm your host and holistic health and wellness educator, Keisha Christian. This segment of Meditative Moment is sponsored by Pure Romance by Dennis Richards. Check out their truly sexy flirt line. You could place an order at www.pureromance.com slash Venice Richards. Or call 631-943-1868 to place an order. These meditations that I provide you with on every episode of Dropping Gems can be repeated and used over and over. I actually sit and watch my own meditations as I'm looking at past episodes of my show. Today we are doing a gratitude meditation. Do these meditations in repetition. I encourage you to go back, watch these videos on demand or on Rewind Network, Rude Rangers TV, or on my YouTube channel, Just Dropping Gems TV. I want you to place your feet flat on the ground and have your palms upward on your lap. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're going to do that two more times. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Last time, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Repeat after me. I am thankful to be alive. I am thankful for this time and space I am sharing right now. I am thankful for abundance. I am thankful for all of my blessings. I am abundance. I am grateful for all who bring me peace and joy. I am thankful for this day. I 
I align myself with the energy of peace and prosperity. Now take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're gonna do that two more times. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Last time, in through your nose and out through your mouth. I wanna check in with your body and see how you feel. Remember our words send out certain vibrations into the universe and are powerful, being that we are powerful beings. You, the abundance you put out there is going to come right back to you. Peace and blessings. And we'll be taking a quick break and we'll be coming back with dropping gems in the kitchen. Welcome to Dropping Gems, an academy for holistic studies. Learn how to treat seasonal allergies and year-long allergies naturally with Keisha Christian. Her courses have helped parents, teachers, naturalists, and therapists reassess the way they handle allergy symptoms. Registration to our class is now open. Reserve your spot today. You can also become a certified holistic studies practitioner with us. Be empowered with knowledge and help us in spreading the positivity with the rest of the world. Visit www.droppinggemsacademy.com or email us at info at keishachristian.com. Welcome back. Dropping Gems is now airing in three states, Washington, D.C. on Channel 190, Wilkes-Barre and Scranton, Pennsylvania on Channel 190, and Delaware, Channel 28 on Rewind Network. This segment is sponsored by Dropping Gems Academy for Holistic Studies. To learn more about holistic allergy, seasonal, and year-long allergy relief, visit www.droppinggemsacademy.com. Today, I'll be showing you how to make nut cheese using cashews. On a past episode, I showed you how to make cashew milk. You can catch all my past episodes on demand on Rewind Network, Rude Rangers TV, or on my YouTube channel, Just Dropping Gems TV, to view the steps on how to make cashew milk. Today, I'll be taking the pulp used from the cashew milk to make the nut cheese. Cashews are rich in copper, zinc, magnesium, iron, and phosphorus that could help with lowering LDL cholesterol and increasing the capacity for HDL. They also contain antioxidants which help with free radicals that build up in our bodies and cause cellular damage. In addition, when used in moderation, it can actually assist with weight management because it contains healthy omega-3s which help to boost metabolism and burn fat. Now, I'm going to show you how to make nut cheese. Like I mentioned, I actually use the cashew pulp from the cashew milk. So that's what I have right here in this bowl. This is um, the pulp from the cashews. Now, what I'm going to do, the cashew milk, I actually made this cashew milk recently, and I'm going to add some of this to the cashew pulp to make it a little bit more um, moist. Now, this is not gonna be your typical cheese that you're thinking that you could cut and slice, but it's gonna be more of like a cream cheese, that kind of consistency. So one of the first things I do, 
as I said, I'm going to add a little of the cashew milk to this because it's a little dry. Now, I like to use cashews because they have like a buttery taste to it and it just tastes so much nicer. And you could actually use this mixture to make a vegan mac and cheese. And I've actually used this to make um, vegan lasagna as well. The same mixture. In place of cheese, I just used this. And it was delicious. So I add some of the cashew milk to the pulp. And I'm going to add a little bit more because I wanted a little bit more moist. So when you're doing this, I really don't have a measurement for this because this is to um, basically to your preference. One of the things that you could also do too, after you make um, the cashew milk, you could leave the pulp out overnight um, if you want to create some probiotics in the, um, the actual pulp. Because what it does is it's going to catch the bacteria from the air. And it's a way of um, kind of fermenting the um, actual cashew pulp. So with this, I actually, after I made my milk, I actually left this mixture, the pulp, I left it out overnight. So it could catch some of the um, good bacteria from the air. And this makes it um, better for the gut. So there we go. I think I want to add a little bit more cashew milk because I want this a little bit more moist. Like I said, you would add to your preference. Uh, that's much better. And this is going to be more like a cream cheese as opposed to a typical cheese that you may be um, thinking of. So many wonderful things you could do with this. And this is great too if you're lactose intolerant. I'm actually lactose intolerant. So these are great things to use and also um, if you're thinking of breakfast ideas, if you want to add this to a bagel or to toast, it's great for that as well. So now I got this to a consistency that I feel comfortable with and now what I'm going to do, here I have um, some seasoning. So in here I actually have a half a teaspoon of turmeric, one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, I want to give it a little kick, and I have some pink Himalayan salt in here. If you want to as well, you could add some, a little of the, excuse me, <laughs> if you want to as well, you could add a little of, of the sea moss. To this mixture as well. Just a little bit if you want to add to add more minerals but I'm fine with just the um, the pink Himalayan sea salt. So I get my minerals in there too. And to this mixture I'm also going to add some nutritional yeast. It will give it more of a cheesy flavor and I also will get my B vitamins in here, my B complex vitamins as well. So I'm going to add that to it. And that's about, um, that's about two tablespoons. And I'm just going to mix this up. Mix it up really well. smells so good with the turmeric and the nutritional yeast and then on top of that I like how cashews smell as well and there we have it there goes our cashew mixture and I'm gonna just going to take some 
and I'm gonna put it on some toast. I prefer toast and bagel, but if you want to, you could actually put this on a bagel and use this in placement of, um, like I said, uh, cream cheese. So you can put this on a bagel and have it for breakfast. It tastes really cheesy. Nice. Mm. I love how that tastes. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this segment of Dropping Gems in the Kitchen. Stay tuned. Bedroom Candy by Tanya provides self-love and self-care products that assist with pampering yourself or improving your relationship with your significant other. You can reach Tanya at 917-943-4127 or visit www.bedroomcandy.com slash one three one six seven to place an order we are having a giveaway we are giving away a roku premiere valued at fifty dollars you could watch live tv or do hdr streaming most importantly you can catch past and present episodes of dropping gems in order to win this roku premiere all you have to do is tag me on instagram at dropping gems with the z and use the meditative moment challenge you could share your favorite quote inspirational picture or your favorite meditative pose the winner will be selected this fall for inquiries for sponsorship or advertising on this program email info at heshachristian.com for more information Daily balance, peace, and protection. Release negativity, stress, and anxiety. Express your spirituality and confidence through self Gems is a proud partner of Rude Rangers Entertainment. We can be found on Roku, Alexa, or you can download the app on your iOS or Android devices. Welcome back. On today's show, I have a special guest, 13-year-old Brandon Thornton. He's an entrepreneur and videographer from Virginia, but currently resides in Georgia. He owns a videography company called Best Productions. His goal and aspirations are to extend his company over the course of five to 10 years and nationally. Welcome Brendan to the show. Hello everyone. And I would just like to welcome Brandon to the show. Thank you so much, Brandon, for coming on my show today. Thank you. And as you know, I have been interviewing entrepreneurs under the age of 20. And today I have 13 year old Brendan. And I have to say, Brendan is a quite talented videographer and he actually assists me with um, some of my production for my show. So I just wanted to bring him on so you could see who assists me with all my editing and all of that. So thank you so much, Brendan, for coming on the show today. Thank you. <laughs> so, I want to know, Brendan, at the age of 13, what made you want to become an entrepreneur? What made me want to be an entrepreneur was everything around me. Um, I would always look around and I would think to myself, if these everyday people can 
um, make stuff that can benefit others, why can't I? And that's what made me want to be an entrepreneur. Wow, that's really inspiring. Because I know at 13, I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> you know, so I, just, <laughs> I, I love the way um, your brain works and how you're able to take something. I tell you, I give you instructions, and then you just go with it. And your work that you do, it always comes out beautifully. I have to tell you, I love the work that you do. I really do. Thank you. So how did you obtain your skill? Like, where did you learn this from? Did you take a class? Um, oh, well, um, when I was very young, I would always sit with my father um, and I would watch him because he's also a videographer and I would watch him, I would watch him and I would observe him and I was learning, but I didn't know that yet. So I would constantly watch, and one day I made my first project, and that was the first stepping stone of my career. Oh, I see. How old were you at that time when you did your first project? Well, um, I was about five or six. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what was it? I'm curious to know, what was your project that you, um, you did? I don't think I remember. You don't? <laughs> no, I just remember doing it, and it was, I, I don't know, it was just amazing. Okay. But five or six years old. Wow. That's so cool. So, in total, you started at five. So, how many years do you say you've been doing this? Well, um, personally, I've been doing this for about six years, but I started my business when I was about nine, which was about four years ago. So, because by, by then I already know how to do it and what to do. Oh, nice. So your first, um, your first client you had was at the age of nine? Yes. Oh, okay. Can you tell us what exactly what was that project? Like, I'm curious to know. Well, I think it was my um, my Nana's um, 70th birthday celebration. Um, I think it was all just raw footage, and I put it up together on, my, on our computer. And um, I think my family was pretty proud. Yeah. I didn't realize you did that, actually. I thought your dad did that. When I saw the video, so when your when your grandma told me that you did that, I was like, "Wow, yeah!" I was I really thought your father did that. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of audience are you trying to target as far as um your business goes? Um, I am trying to target um eighteen and up because. There can be some select people who might need my business who are very young, and I wouldn't like to just, just say that my business is only for adults. Okay, so you said eighteen and up, but that's those are that group age group is a, that is considered considered adult. So you want to work with um, adolescents, or what would you? What do you want to do? Um, I would work with uh, with um, people. Well, beyond that age group, and I would work it, and I would work with them, and I would tell them what I needed. I would tell them what I needed to do. I would, and they would give me instructions, and I would follow them, and then it would be that. Okay. Did you ever think about teaching others how to um, do this type of um, work? As well, I well, I I would I would I would consider trying to do this, and I would I would consider trying to do this and teaching others about what to do as a videographer. Nice, because I actually could see you um, discussing the type of program you would need, how some kind of tips and tricks that you could um, use, and you know, do like a little workshop. I don't know. I see you doing mm -hmm. something like that. I just, I'm just giving you an idea. <laughs> Definitely. So everyone, we're going to take a break right now. And when we come back, we will continue our interview with Brendan Thornton. You are watching Dropping Gems.
I'm going to take a little break right now. Welcome back to Dropping Gems. We have one today, Brandon Thornton, who's a 13-year-old entrepreneur. And as you know, I'm running a special right now for entrepreneurs under the age of 20. And I have to say, I am just in awe of our young people and their ambition and them wanting to become entrepreneurs and looking ahead now at their future at such a young age. So I have Brendan on the show today. Thank you for coming Thank on. You. So as you were telling us, and we were discussing all about your target audience and uh, also um, about um, teaching others how to uh, be a videographer as well or the skills used for um, video production. So in what way do you want your business to grow or evolve? Well, first, I would need my business to grow financially. So I would have enough money to um, grow my business physically. So I can buy a building or also use it for promotional use, like billboards, newspaper ads, um, almost anything you can promote on. Okay, so I see what you're saying. So in order for it to evolve, you need some sort of revenue that coming in. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So actually... Um, for you, right now, because of what's going on in the world, we have the virtual world. So actually conducting some sort of workshop or seminar, that could actually bring revenue to you to help to expand your business. So that's really good. I like the way you're looking ahead um, and even looking at um, real estate. So is that something that you've done? Have you actually looked into real estate, like how much um, property costs or lots and things like that? I have looked into it once, but I don't think it came up when I was thinking about the business and doing projects. I don't think it was, I don't think it was like brought up in a situation, but I, I, I would consider it and I would try to um, buy one in the future. Okay, so you're looking at real estate. I like that. I like that idea. Um, you want to see how much things cost. So you know, as you build your business in the future, what type of um, what your budget will be what you're looking at your for your budget. So that's really good. It's a good idea looking at how much equipment costs, looking at um, how much ads will cost you promotion, things of that nature. Very smart. Um, what things interest you other than videography? Um, well, I, I, I love music. I play piano. I play ukulele. I sing. And I just love doing anything that makes me busy or just like playing video games. Nice. So I would say you're very productive. And by the way, audience, I have to tell you that he has a beautiful voice. He's downplaying it. <laughs> he has a very beautiful voice. Very talented young man. That's really Thank nice. You. I didn't know you played the ukulele. <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, I tried it and then it just, it, it just became like a habit. Oh, that's a good habit. So in <laughs> other words, you're very productive. <laughs> yes. I don't think you, do you play? You could watch the extended version of this interview on my YouTube channel at www.droppinggems.com. That's Dropping Gems with a Z. Welcome back. Thank you, Brendan, for coming on the show today. And I look forward to seeing your future projects and working with you. Don't forget to check out our extended version of this interview that's found exclusively on my YouTube channel, Just Dropping Gems TV. And I want to thank you my viewing audience. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dropping Gems. Holistic health and much abundance to you. See you next week. Peace and blessings to you. Dropping Gems from Keisha Christian. She's KeishaGems.com